This video is an exploration of the darker side. We can call it an introduction to embodiment of the dark feminine energy. The exploration of the film noir, the femme fatale and the Carl Jung shadow work. I believe that this is a very important topic for any woman to explore and an introduction to a deeper shadow work that we will also speak about in this video. The purpose of the shadow work Work is to become whole again, to be the morally sound and good person, but also to be aware of the power we hold and similarly to be aware of the hidden desires that we all do have. When we suppress a certain aspect of ourselves, it does not disappear. It does not go away with time. It only fades away from our awareness. This fragmentation is the reason why we have no control over ourselves and why we cannot tap into the full personal power that lies in each and every of us. Everything in the world is headed into the direction of expansion and growth. Your rejected shadow is seeking you to unify this again back to you. And I do think that this is why collectively we are so attracted to the femme fatale archetype. According to Oxford Dictionary, the femme fatale is a mysterious, alluring, enigmatic female character in stories who possess a threat to the male protagonist, using her sexual powers to entrap and lure him to his downfall. To understand the collective shadow work that screams to us through the attraction to the dangerous woman, let's first explore the film noir genre, the genre to which the femme fatale belongs to. The film noir is a cinematic term used primarily to describe Hollywood crime dramas, particularly those that emphasize cynical attitudes, exploring morally corrupt behavior and motivations. Film noir is a genre that belongs to the 1940s and the 1950s especially. However, the impact of this genre can be found in the modern cinema as well. There are many modern movies that des are described as neo-noir as they represent the classical film noir characteristics. The dominant word view expressed in film noir is paranoid, claustrophobic, hopeless, doomed, predetermined by the past without a clear moral or personal identity. The visual style conveyed this mood by expressive use of darkness, both real and predominantly underlit, and also psychologically through shadows and claustrophobic compositions which overwhelmed the characters, the overall criminality and lack of morality. The film noir is a representation of the darkness that occurred in that era, the cruel world of the Second World War, the Great Depression, and the horrors that came with those times. <laughs> The film noir is a representation of the dark and hidden human nature presented in art form on the screens of the 1930s, 40s and 50s. The most common element of almost any film noir is a femme fatale. Hilda, are you decent? Me? Sure, I'm decent. A femme fatale is a stock character of a mysterious, beautiful and seductive woman whose charms ensnare her lovers, often leading them into compromising deadly traps. She is an archetype of literature and art. Femme fatale is a seductive and beautiful woman who brings disaster to anyone with whom she becomes romantically involved. The femme fatale is an archetype that appears throughout history in mythology, art and literature and becomes a principal character in the hardball detective novels and classic film noir of the 20th century. The term originates from the French phrase femme fatale which means deadly woman or little woman. A femme fatale tries to achieve her hidden purpose by using feminine attributes such as beauty, charm or sexual allure. The femme fatale could be traced as far as to the beginning of our human history. The biblical femme fatales were Delilah and Jezebel. However, some refer to Eve as the first femme fatale and the beginning of that archetype. In the book of Genesis, Eve is 
seducing Adam into taking a bite from the forbidden tree and offering him the impossible to resist bite. This was one of the first and the truest representation of the devious behavior of a femme fatale. In Jewish folklore, Adam's first wife was Lilith. She was expelled from Eden after refusing to be obedient to her husband. She subsequently became a de demon who seduced men and gave birth to demons that assume female forms and have intimacy with men while they sleep. As much as Cleopatra from the classical time that I already did an analysis on, the femme fatale was a common figure in the European Middle Ages, often portraying the dangers of unbridled female sexuality. In Romanticism, the femme fatale well suited the movement ethos of tragic love and fascination with mystery and beauty. The femme fatale's intelligence is an essential to the archetype as much as her beauty. It is her cunning, strategic ways and ambition that often drives the plot of the film noir. The femme fatale stems from the siren. In the art of seduction, the siren archetype is introduced as a seductive woman who uses her beauty and charm to entrap men. She is depicted as a tempting figure who sings a song that lures men to their ultimate downfall. The siren is known for her beauty, sensuality and mystique which she uses to captivate those around her. She may use her charm to manipulate the desires and emotions of her target and often leads them into dangerous or undesirable situations. The siren is often portrayed as a dangerous figure because of the negative impact she can have on those who fall under her spell. And it is often said that the the growing prominence of femme fatales in the cinema and fiction of the mid-20th century may have been linked to the rapidly shifting gender roles in that era. During the World War II and in the absence of men who fought wars, women took jobs outside the home and held down households. The femme fatale and her deceptions also suited the cynicism and the dark and pessimistic mood of the film noir genre. And compared to the more maternal and good girl and a good wife characters of the time, she appears as less passive and more complex and dangerously compelling. The femme fatale represents the female shadow. This is why I think this topic has such interest on YouTube currently. Our shadow finds representation in the dangerous, seductive, highly sexual, malicious, cunning and manipulative woman. And it represents the double edge of any matter. The light feminine, pure, caring, motherly feminine figure. Her shadow will be the dangerous, manipulative and cunning femme fatale. The woman who has lost her power to the male-dominated society. It is in the film noir that we can discover our hidden and repressed power parts of ourselves. With this work, we can assimilate the fragmented parts of ourselves to become whole again. The femme fatale is not therefore a calling to let our evil run or to be toxic and manipulative in any way. It is the unrealized power that we need to befriend. It is the lack of power that we see, we see in ourselves that screams for the femme fatale to emerge from the shadows of our psyche. The the femme fatale belongs also to the male shadow dream. The traditional role of a man who is responsible, providing for his family, coming home to his wife. His hidden dream is to be lured away from his responsibilities, to be seduced by the dangerous yet so alluring and magnetic woman, the female danger. He wants to be taken to the world full of pleasure, even if deadly. And I believe that the femme fatale is the shadow of any and every woman and and it is through the shadow assimilation described by Jung that we need to allow the hidden femme fatale appear to the surface, not with the motivation to be deadly toxic and, and a danger to anyone, it is to realize the power we women have. It is also to allow this power to shine through our light and moral selves. And I spoke about it in my previous videos about the mistress and wife character analysis, and I will link those down below. 
I can now see that I am doing my own shadow work on YouTube, wanting to assimilate my shadow, and I welcome you to join me in the exploration of the common female shadow, which is the femme fatale. It is to be aware of the power that we have and to be able to morally use it if needed. It is a tool like a sharp knife that we need to fully examine to be able to not use it for any bad cause. We need to realize the power that that we have and channel it in the morally correct ways. The femme fatale was the dark representation of the female shadow. So now let's speak about what is the shadow and the Carl Jung shadow work. And as an introduction, let's take a particular quote from him that I like. Good does not become better but being exaggerated, but worse. And a small evil becomes a big one through being disregarded and repressed. The shadow is very much a part of human nature, and it is only at night that no shadow exists. From infancy and through childhood and adolescence, we pick up from our parents and caregivers both conscious and unconscious messages about what is acceptable in terms of our body, our feelings, and our behavior. All that is unacceptable is suppressed and repressed and becomes part of our shadow. We not only take in and repress what is unacceptable, we also internalize our caregivers attitudes to these unwanted qualities and characteristics of ourselves. The harsher the attitude which may have been repressed by withdrawal of love, rejection, physical, emotional abuse, the more hostile we are to those facets of our shadow. The shadow is an unconscious aspect of the personality that does not correspond with the ego ideal, leading the ego to resist and project the shadow. Shadow. The shadow personifies everything that the subject refuses to acknowledge about himself. When you suppress a certain aspect of ourselves, it does not disappear. It does not go away with time and it only fades from our awareness. And this is this fragmentation that is the reason why we have no control over ourselves. The emptiness and powerlessness that we feel is the result of leaving all of those suppressed parts of ourselves behind and the fact that you disown them means that you have lost them and this can feel like you are not living your life this can make you feel like you have dissociated from yourself and it is during our life that we are tested and presented with the opportunity to feel and see into those aspects that we have suppressed denied and disowned and just like the real shadow that we can see on a sunny day our unconscious shadow is is also chasing us every day asking for you to see it and acknowledge it. Our shadows will chase us until we are ready and willing to do the work that needs to be done. In the memories, dreams and reflections, Jung describes some of the feelings associated with encountering and assimilating the shadow. Fear, disgust, remorse and guilt, compassion, grief and humility. This process and the assimilation of the shadow leads to the self-acceptance and self-forgiveness. The assimilation then is the process of comprehending the shadow and it may involve the ego adapting certain aspects of the shadow or it might be the acknowledgement of its existence. The fun fatal topic will never be finished in one video. It is as deep and dark as can be and I believe that it can only be explored through different movies and books, different characters and the embodiment of the femme fatale by many different characters. I therefore invite you to join the femme fatale playlist on my channel. We will be exploring the film noir and neo noir and let ourselves together do the shadow work where we can unify the repressed femme fatale in us.